Hey guys, and welcome back to Expedition Vikings. This is Patroli Sigerson and his little house calls or herd. Um, we are off to see Gunnar the Peaceful and to see if he can join us. I think that would be very nice if he could join us. Less than half of his crew returned. I heard you're leaving. I want to join you. The Wish Apprentice accosts you outside your longhouse. I've heard you're leaving. I want to join you. Okay, so... It'll be a dangerous trip. You'll have to contribute. Well, do you think there's a small chance some of you might get hurt on this really dangerous trip? You know, these herbs aren't just for making people sick, right? H Hulda trained you as a healer? Of course, that's what wishes do, you know. What do you wish to join? She scratches her wrist. Um, do I really need to reason? No, but if uh, you have one, I would want to hear it. It's just time to leave, you know. I owe lots of old Huda, but I've learnt all I can from her, but I still don't know enough. I hear it's a big world out there. <clears throat> sure, I'm glad to have you aboard. She smiles, as, it, as it's a proper smile for once, showing teeth and everything. Thank you. I'll find someone to take care of Huda while, while we're gone. Okay. So we've now got a witch on our thing. A sniffer growls with barely contained displeasure. Ah, you're letting the poisoner join us? I was the one who had to poison you. If you're still angry about it, be angry at me. He scrolls at the... Which I spent the whole night in the freezing outhouse because of the lies. Oscar, uh, Oscar looks at her feet, her moist feet. I couldn't, I could have given you much worse things, you know. Noria stares and spits fire. Okay, so let's go and talk to um, Gunnar. Gunnar is still where you left him. A hog is curiously sniffing his pants. Oh yeah, I'll see the hog. Good to see you again. Have you decided what you want to do with me? Um. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. I have an offer for you. I want you to join my herd. I accept. Now then, consider yourself a resident of Skern. We'll find you a place to stay for now. We can at least get you out of this pig pen. The Ulfidin scratches, squeezes his wrists to get the blood flowing again, then puts a huge hand to seal the deal. I swear before Odin to follow you whether you ask and serve you with my life. Okay, good. So we now have Gunnar the Peaceful. Okay, can we... Um, we got a bit of... Um, can we talk to Sig Sigurd? Sigurd? Uh, hire some mercenaries. Hail, okay, Sil. Is there anything I can do for you? I would like you to join me on my expedition. Would you now? Butteraldi, I'm honoured by your offer, but I won't make the same mistake my mother did. She thought she could be a shield maiden and still have a family, but she was wrong. A woman, a woman must choose. I've made my decision. I haven't told anyone else, but Lutia and I are trying for a child. Um, have been for some time now. I'm staying home to build a family. Um, I've been thinking about and get some construction started. That's a good idea. We'll eventually be sitting on our hands for a long, too long if people of, uh, like school think they can bring us down with petty sneak attacks. I think it's time you decide what to do about the space in front of the longhouse. Uh, Lutia and I would love to have a play, uh, a decent market close to home where we can sell our pelts and meats. Uh, who else should I talk to about improving the village? Tuftin, okay, would be the most important voice to hear in this matter. A matter, I say. I'm sure he has some ideas. Other than that, perhaps you could ask Old Hulda what she thinks. That old bug out there could be put to better use. Okay, how's hunting going these days? Deer is scarce than usual on account of the wolves, but on the other hand, I can loose an arrow without hitting grouse this season, so I'm not complaining. Uh, 
things will be uh, get more difficult in the spring when Kittle leaves with you. We'll have to work a little harder, Lutia and I. Is there anything I can make it kind of do to make it easier? Hmm. Have you talked to, to your uncle about the walls? I think he was planning to do something about them. If the walls were gone and the deer came back, that would put us in good spot. I'll let you know if anything comes up. Okay, so we are now going to head to Reeb. I think that's a good idea. Head to Reeb. Okay. So this is the map again. So we are... Okay, so we're here at the moment. Okay, so we must head to Reeb, which is here. Severe puncture. Should we go to Occupied? Let's go here. Let's go. Yes, let's go onto the campaign map and have a little rest. Let's do a little camp so we can um, see what we can do there. Yes, yeah, so. Okay, next. So camping is where we can heal, etc. So there's the shifts. Um, okay, so you you need to rest. Guard, rest, and then guard. I think possibly. Let's go. Let's guard, guard, rest, rest. Then we'll. Guard and guard. Guard and guard there. Okay. Um, you can heal. Okay, and then heal. I guess Nephia. So we should be good. That will get Kettle to guard um, on these two. Yes. Okay, so we're going to make camp. We're going to do a bit of guarding. You've been hiking for a few hours. When up ahead, you notice two people travelling in the same direction as you. A blight at a slower pace. The older of the two men... A man with hollow cheeks with a scar across his lips steps in front of his companion. Mo move along! Wait, don't try them. Uh, examine them. Catch them. You'll be coming with me. You seem to be travelling a hard path. Who are you? The Charter's down on their luck. We want nothing from you. Please just leave us alone. Okay, good. So they're just travellers and they wanted. Okay, so. We got some light injuries now instead of severe. I don't know how we're going to get um, yeah we're going to stay here again I think uh, and see if we can try and heal up um, try and heal up um, can we can we heal Yes, there we go. Hill left here. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna see if we can do this. The acrid stench of smoke draws your attention to a tree off the side of the path, a hundred paces uphill. It's smaller still, the trunk blackened and split in twain by the force of a lightning bolt. Approach the tree. Okay. Uh, there was once a stout oak tree, now stands split apart as though a great force burst from within it. In the jagged wounds, you see wood. Turned to charcoal and dusted uh, in white ashes, and was still burning in the heart. Uh, two rations, a cup of mead to gain Thor's favour. You pour two wooden mugs of sweet mead. Once you place, uh, once you place firmly at the base of the tree, for when Odin's son might 
pass uh, might again pass the space the other you drink to honor the Asir. as you turn to leave a shrill call draws your attention a pair of crows perched amongst the ruined branches one of them stares pointing pointedly at you with black inscrutable eyes so that was odin so uh she, he was looking down at us okay so down to moderate now and i'm now healthy um so i think we might try and stay there one once more um to see if we could um to see if we can heal Nephia up before we go into Reeb, because we don't know what's going to happen in Reeb. I'm sorry, it's going to be a bit boring at the moment. So, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to make camp. I'm just going to make you, you and your herd are traveling along the banks of a stream, uh, running along the bottom of an overgrown ditch, when you suddenly yelp from behind, from suddenly yelp from behind grabs your attention. You spin around just in time to see Kettle top over, <laughs> topple into the ditch. The soil along the edge is shot through with thin roots that have stolen away the suitability uh, stability of the ground he gives a grunt of frustration as he flounders in the plant choked stream pushing aside the long broad leaf tipped stalk the hunters clamber back out again with a steady steam of muttering complaints kettle's skin is flushed with embarrassment but a growing look of discomfort reveals there may have been more to it than injury and pride the, that plant is hogsweed. Kettle will be great pain soon. If we don't cut off the sap and make a pot... Uh, use five minutes. Hold still, Kettle. This will help. It takes a few moments, but after cleaning away the sap with the water from the stream and applying the poultice, Kettle already shows signs of improvement. That is much better. Thank you. I'll be more careful next time. Thanks to your quick diagnosis and response, Kettle will recover quickly with a little discomfort. Over the course of a few hours, he was able to toss away the poultice and with it. Nary mark to show for the nary um, near mark to show <laughs> for his ordeal. Okay, so I think we'll be okay. So she's got light. That's fine. That that will do for now. Um, hopefully we can head here now. So she's got a light puncture. I'm hoping she'll be okay if um I'm hoping that um she'll be better if we rest some more but at the moment she's got light wounds so hopefully they won't um they won't if we if we're attacked or if we have to kill things she won't be too bad okay so mindful of your choices as opinions will change your reput reputation Okay, sounds good. I think it's going to take a while to load because it's a massive area that I think is going to come up because it is a city instead of a town, so it might be a bit bigger than before. So I'm hoping this will work. Patience. Patience is a virtue. It looks like it's stuck, so it might have crashed. Which I'm hoping it hasn't. Because that would suck if it crashed. Poor old me. With my crappy computer. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't crashed. It's loaded up. Thank God for that. My CPU is so bad sometimes. I know I shouldn't complain about it right now, but... Sometimes it makes games load up really slow. Okay, so this is Reeb. We need to go and talk to some people up in this area. Can we, can we steal any of your stuff? Empty? What about this? empty let's see if we can try and get some stuff that we've lost like some valuables and medicines and whatnot 
Okay, so we've got some cloth and blankets. We can use all of this, actually. Meanwhile, we're just going to take all of your things here. Can we... Oh, there's a... Empty. Okay, let's uh, move up this way. There's quite a few people here. Um, cancel. Attempt theft. I don't want to attempt theft. Okay, so let's... Um, we do have some skills, um, by the way, so we could... Let's do a bit more damage. We've got four more. Can we do this? No, we need nine to upgrade it to leadership. Increase resistance. Okay, let's see. Can we... We'll upgrade that. Okay. She has three points. Gunner, you don't... You Well, you have some points, which is good. We could try and get you... Um, well, I don't think they are here at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's keep going up this way. Hmm. It looks like we need to go up. Like, up to like here. So let's just click on this area here and see what is happening. Skalagrima. Being the most powerful woman in Denmark, Reknehild has a second long, long house just for Herdman. Warriors from all over the north come here to seek work and train with her renowned house calls. Skalagrim! He looks like Skalagrim from YouTube. How amazing is that? You recognize Skalagrim from your father's funeral feast. The tall man is Ragnar Hill's banamar and lover, and he never leaves her side. He raises his hand in greeting. Ho there, Busseraldi! I great, uh, greatly enjoyed myself at your feast. Especially the show you put on at the end. You fight well. Um, I told you, Ragnar thought. That means a lot coming from you. Aye, it's true. We stood back, back to back and faced them three or four at a time. The foot took a whole day. Tell me, what brought you to Reeb today? Um, I'm looking. Um, I need a good. I need a few good warriors for my, for my herd. Skelligrim scratches his beard pensively. Pensively, you choose a bad time to recruit. Mercenaries have no trouble finding low-risk work at the moment. What with the trouble in the marsh? What trouble? People have been disappearing in the marshes for years, but it's gotten a lot worse lately. As many as a dozen disappearances over the past two months. Entire trade caravans simply vanish in there. The whole city is awash with rumours, a lantern of men, man-eating witches, and other not such nonsense. If you're interesting, interested, go. Uh, if your interest goes beyond idle curiosity, curiosity, I suggest you ask Ragnar Hild about it. She's been trying to find people willing to do something about it. Okay, I think we should do that. Okay, let's. Sorry, Bob Thorey, nobody's looking for work right now. As long as the danger persists in the marshes, I doubt you'll find anyone willing to go. Okay. Okay, so we need to go and talk to. Where do we talk to? Um, where do we talk to? Um, help. Okay, so should we? Is this to the ah? I think that might be the long haul that we need to go to. Possibly. Seems awfully far away. Okay, let's go. See if we can see anybody on the way. Let's. Where are we? We're somewhere. Here we are. Oh, Yardar Yarnakson. You seem like an interesting fellow. A portly man with a receding hair, dressed in several layers of fine furs, waves at you. Waves at you. Honorable warrior, a moment of your time. I'm sorry to impose upon you like this. But I see you travel with a retinue that marks you a man of high standing. My name is Yadar Jan Skergerson. I'm a merchant trading in ironworks from the east. I recently bought a house near the docks 
Moved here hoping to establish trade routes to Phrygia, perhaps even beyond. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. To my, uh, to my tremendous fortune, I have already purchased the house. Before coming here, I arrived to find it occupied rats. Continue. They're a fierce bunch, and I can't take up residence in my home before they've been routed. I've, I had to pay dearly to lodge with a business acquaintance for the past two weeks while I've attempted to resolve the situation. Um, what sort of compensation could I get? Um, I've been met with uh, just my lack of support from the old men. You'd think the Earl would be interested in to get rid of such a firm and restore order to her domain, but no. What sort of compensation can I expect? As mentioned, I trained in fine ironworks. Uh, you, your assistance in this matter will be worth perhaps iron materials worth or two of silver. I have diplomacy one. I only stub that for the goods. You're hiring the service of the thing of Skern, son of the renowned warrior Sigurd. And most, his most trusted house calls. The merchant's eyes grow wide and he licks his lips several times, searching for the right words. Right, yes, I saw at once you are greatest warrior. I didn't realize the magnitude of your prowess. 200 autogs of silver worth of the threatened, uh, worth of treated iron metal uh, materials then. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay, so we need to go to his house I think um, wrong one we need to go to this can we activate this can we see where this is okay so it's here oh there's people in inside Kilinter where are we well this is where we came from so let's see if we can. Ah, Eskier Jumper. Okay. Let's talk to Eskier. Yarder Direct 62, a set of small houses not far from the market. The walls are dirty, the doorways skewed. One of the roof has several large cracks. A group of young men and women dressed in rags are loitering about the courtyard. The oldest of them, a boy perhaps 15 or 16, gets up and saunters over when you enter. Hey, you lost, old man. We're not interested in company. Relax, kid. I'm here to ah. Sorry, my young man. Let my let me rest my twenty-five year old for a moment while I leave. Yeah, relax here. I'm just here to address a rat in infestation. The kid lets out a amusing sort despite himself. He looks much depressed for a moment before he regains his composure. Yard, I'll send you right. If you have to throw us out, it's not good. going to work. Smart people, then you have tried. Ah, I get it now. You're the rats. Ah, you're a shopper. shopper. You're a shop one, all right? He wipes his nose in her already crusted sleeve. You can try and catch us if you fancy a chase, but lots of people have tried. But we're still about, yeah? How can I convince you to leave peacefully? Unless you find us another place to live, we're staying right here. You can run us out like the last people that hog belly sent. We'll just be back when you're gone. Um, finish hard. This is our place. Uh, who are you, kids? Well, you slow with it with the rats. You said so yourself. Uh, your kids shouldn't be living in a rotten damp like this. Why don't you come live in Skern? We have what recently vacant houses you can use if you take care of it. You're going to give them Erlinger's homestead? Do you think these rogues will be able to able to mind a farm? They seem quick on the uptake. I'm sure they'll get the hang of it once we show them the basics. Doesn't matter either way. We'll get chased out of Skern too. You just watch. We're not wel we're not the welcoming sort. I'm the thing of. S Skern, if I say you're welcome, that's how it is. If you want the farm, it's yours. He fixes a, uh, he fixes you with sceptical gaze. Then he holds up a near David and walks over to the rest of his pack. The kids have a short conversation. It all seem, uh, appears remarkably civil. Then Jumper returns, a resolute, a resolute, a resolute look on his face. All right, we'll take this deal. We figure if this is some trick, we're gonna. We're good at running. We'll find our way back here just fine. 
<coughs> we'll let J Yada know his problem has been resolved. You can come back with us when our business in Reeb is concluded. Jumper wipes his palm on a pos uh, possibly clean section of his pants and then shakes your hand. The deal having thus been sealed, he and his rat pack gather the meagre belongings from the inside the rotting buildings and run past you out towards where you tied up your horses. All right, so we gained a bit of, we gained some bit of fare, but that's fine. We're um, we kill the rats. We didn't have to kill them, so that was good. I, I didn't want to fight because of the injuries and things. I suck and deal with the kids; they won't be back. Are you certain? Well, I shall hold you to your word then. As soon as I've taken off my new property, I'll have one of my friends bring there. As soon as I've taken stock of my new property, I'll have one of my friends bring the promised reward to your people. You shake on it, and without wasting another moment, Yara sets off towards his new home. Okay, so we've got gained three skill points. So I've got four. Kettle has ten. We could probably try and he needs eighteen for this one. But that is fine. Let's see what he can do. What's this? Interrupt, rebuke, feign, dual wield, cripple, or charge. Okay, let's have a look here. We don't want that one just yet, but maybe this point black. Yeah, we'll do that. Point blank. Okay. Let's see. Betrothy. Let's um. Let's activate this. Should we see? Let's do this. Okay, so. I need to go to this long house again. I think that would be quite interesting. Let's see which way we go. Ah, oh, see where we are now. Yep. Hey, watch where you're going. Okay, so this is the long haul by the looks of it. Nuke Fritzson and Sigmundar Pallason. Okay, let's go there. The guards on the right is the lanky blonde and doesn't really seem to have eyebrows. Fucking freezing out here. The one on the left is a large man, round faced with doleful eyes. Send in the cold while they're talking around the fire. It's no job for a fighting man. Boredom. Teeth chattering. They see their belly aching and look at you. Do roll. No, <laughs> do. Ragnar Hulls house calls usually complain this much. Maybe if you stood here in the cold all day. Watch the people come and go, new glory, or even a good fight to be had. Might be you could play too. Um, children playing the best amongst us act. And do what? We can't leave the sight of the longhouse door. You'll figure something else. Okay. Look around the yard. The table is laden with warm food, steaming. Still in the cold air, against the wall of the longhouse, a row of costs standing tapped and ready. Okay, I guess it's this bit here. Why is there a feast prepared but no one at, at the tables? The Earl is saying, uh, The Earl is saying of visiting Goli and his followers, all the way from Govendrup, I think. He's a pale fellow, no wonder when, when him and his didn't want to eat or drink. Alright, shame, all this food and drink, and I want to enjoy it. Right, shame. It really shouldn't go to waste like this. <laughs> the two guards look at each other and smile. One might say it's our duty as house calls to make sure the thralls' hard work is honoured. If it's our duty, then how can we refuse? A challenge then, like Thor at Utgard. Okay, so are they? Are they gonna? Are they gonna eat it? Can we? Can we go in? Yes, we're gonna go in now. Good. Good. Okay, so if if we lose, okay, so if you lose track of a character during gameplay, press F. Okay, cool. Kettlebjorn. Okay, let's go and talk to Ragnar Hilda the White. Ragnar Hilda the White politely stands when you approach her seat and clasps your wrists with a firm grip. Welcome in to Reeb, Botharaldi. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I seek permission to recruit f uh, a crew for my ship. For an expedition, I won't send you in the way, but there's a warning I gave your father extends to you as well. Stay in known territory if you value your life. Uh, 
Um, noted, but I'm eager to go regardless. Put word out at my barracks, then uh, then you're seeking a crew. Mercenaries are often found there, sparring with my herd, um, herdmen. I've heard rumours uh, about disappearance in the marsh. I wish for people to travel safely to our city. If this isn't dealt with soon, Reeb's reputation will suffer. I'm not afraid. I'll need to deal with this tart. Of course, okay. I've dealt with the rats. I wasn't aware you're looking into the problem. Dare I ask you solved it? Uh, I've gave them a... Is that so? That's very interesting. I hope this kid li will live up to your faith you've placed in them. Okay, we've increased our... Our... Um, our reputation with Reeb by 5%, which is really good. So, monsters in the marshes. Okay. I think in the next episode we are going to go to the marshes and we are going to see what is going to happen and... I shall see you guys next time in Expedition Vikings. Thanks for watching. See ya.